when we are immigrating to Canada, one of the biggest questions that comes to our mind is which city should we choose? And two of the most prominent options are Toronto and Ottawa. So this video would help you take that crucial decision because in this video, we would be comparing the two famous Canadian cities based on various factors such as geography, weather, the people living there, the cost of living, the various job sectors, the public transport and we'll even discuss about the crime rate in the two cities. So this video is going to be an ultimate comparison between the two Canadian cities, Toronto and Ottawa. If you're interested, stay tuned. Alright guys, let me tell you that I have created such videos before. Toronto versus Vancouver, Toronto versus Montreal, Toronto versus Vancouver versus Montreal versus Calgary. So if you want to look for any of these videos, I'll provide the link in the description box below. You can check that out. And apart from that, you can now find me at Instagram as well. So if you're there on Insta, you can look for me at Dreamers Abroad. It's all about fun, all about my life here in Canada. All right, now let's begin the ultimate comparison between Toronto and Ottawa. All right, so let's start with the geography. It's very important to know the place where you're going to settle. So let's start with the comparison of Toronto and Ottawa. Both the cities are located in the province of Ontario. They're around 450 kilometers away from each other. So you can say a drive of around five hours. So not very far and not very close. While Toronto is the capital of Ontario, Ottawa is the capital of Canada. So basically Toronto is the financial hub of Canada and Ottawa has got the Canadian parliament. So all the major decisions are being taken in Ottawa. Now, Toronto has got a slight upper edge over Ottawa because it is surrounded by Lake Ontario. It has got three rivers, Humber, Don and Rouge. While Ottawa hasn't got the big lake, but it has got two rivers, River Ottawa and River Rideau. So because of Lake Ontario, Toronto has got wonderful beaches which are in there in Ottawa. However, the land of both the cities are very similar, both flat and hilly. Alright, these were just a few points that you need to know about the cities. Let's quickly move over to the next factor. Moving on to our next factor, weather. Everyone knows Canada is famous for its cold weather. The winters in Canada get really harsh and cold. So it's very important to discuss the climate or the weather of the two cities. So right here you can see the maximum and the minimum temperatures for the last one year starting October 2019 going up to October 2020. Now in the month of May, June and July 2020 we can clearly see that the Ottawa's temperature are generally one or two degrees higher than Toronto which is not a big difference but coming over to the winters so the month of December, January, February and March, we can clearly see that Ottawa's temperatures are 6 to 7 degrees lower than Toronto's temperature, which means that Ottawa's temperature are more harsh, whether it's winters or it's summers. So if you want to give weather or the climate more importance, then definitely Toronto wins the race here. Okay, moving on to one of the most crucial and interesting factors, the cost of living. Let's see which of these two cities is more affordable. Alright, so to discuss the cost of living, I'll take you to Numbio.com, a wonderful website where you can actually compare the cost of living of any two cities in the world. Here they have clearly mentioned that rent prices in Toronto are around 36% higher than in Ottawa and the local purchasing power is actually 12% lower than in Ottawa. Now we can go on to check out some details in here, so a meal for two people in a mid-range restaurant would cost you around $10 more in Toronto. Similarly, even milk would cost you more in Toronto. Something very important to notice is the monthly pass. So if you're living in Toronto, you would actually pay around 27% more for the monthly pass than if you're living in Ottawa. Now, very crucial thing. If you want to live, you obviously need a home to live. So if you want to rent an apartment, a one bedroom apartment, then you could get in around $1,600 in Ottawa, while in Toronto it's around $2,200, way more expensive. Similarly, if you want to buy an apartment, 
So the price per square meter to buy an apartment in city center is close to 5,000 Canadian dollars in Ottawa, while it's more than 11,000 Canadian dollars in Toronto. So more than double. If you want to buy an apartment, you'll have to pay more than double the price if you're buying an apartment in Toronto instead of Ottawa. While you can see that the average monthly net salary in Ottawa is not much lower. It's slightly lower than Toronto. But the expenses that you need to do in your day-to-day -day living is way more higher in Toronto. And they have summed it up here. You would need around 6600 Canadian dollars in Toronto to maintain the same life standard that you can have with 5700 Canadian dollars in Ottawa. So Ottawa is a clear winner here. It's a lot more affordable than Toronto. Alright, now let's discuss the people and the crime rate. It's interesting to know about the ethnicity of the people of the two cities and it's important to know which city among the two is actually safer. So we can see that in Toronto there are around 48% European people while in Ottawa that percentage is around 69%. In Toronto we can see that the South Asian people are around 12-13% to while in Ottawa there are only 1.3%. There are around 11% Chinese in Toronto, while in Ottawa there are around 4-5% Chinese people. And these all details are taken from Wikipedia which actually belongs to the 2016 census. You can definitely expect a change in the statistics in the last couple of years. Okay, now talking about the crime and the safety index. For Toronto, the crime index is around 39, while the safety index is around 60. Ottawa on the other hand is much more safer because the crime index in Ottawa is around 26 while the safety index is around 74 so Ottawa basically has got lesser crimes and is much more safer than Toronto okay talking of our next factor which is the different job sectors in the two cities so talking of the job sectors which basically means the different industries which are prominent in the two cities so basically Toronto has got technology financial services fashion life sciences aerospace tourism, events and film industry which is the prominent industries in here and in Ottawa we can say that technology, the federal government jobs, the tourism, health and education, finance and insurance, trade, manufacturing and construction. They are basically some of the main prominent industries. Apart from that some of the jobs like, like sales and marketing, healthcare, construction. So all those jobs are common in the two cities. All right. Now let's discuss the public transport. As said, an advanced city is not one where even the poor use cars, but rather one where even the rich use public transport. So let's discuss the public transport of the two cities. Of course, both the cities have got trains which travel between the two cities and to the other cities of Canada. Then they've got intercity bus services, provide real-time updates. So if you use your Google Maps, Apple Maps, can actually get real-time updates about the timings. Toronto has got the metro service while Ottawa has got the light rail service which is called as O-Train. Now where Toronto takes the edge over Ottawa is the streetcars which is an integral part of public transport in Toronto and then Toronto has also got the ferry services which takes people to and from the Toronto island. So we can say that in public transport Toronto has got slight edge over Ottawa. Alright, so that was it. That was all the information that I wanted to share through this video. Although both the cities are great cities, I hope if you want to live in any of these two cities, this video will help you decide that. Thanks a lot for watching this video guys. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please click the subscribe button and yes, press the bell icon so you don't miss any of my videos.